In this video, you will learn the 88 chapters about the airframe systems. Join us to learn technical English for aviation mechanics. Today I'm going to talk about the following chapters. Fire protection, flight controls, fuel, hydraulic power, ice and rain protection, indicating and recording systems, and landing gear. Please, be strong and never give up. This is Mr. Ed. I am an FAA certified aviation mechanic. I love teaching and helping people like you. Let me help you in your English learning process. And why not in your FAA certification process? Chapter 26, Fire Protection. In this chapter, you have the fixed and portable units which detect and indicate fire and smoke in all protected areas of the aircraft. This chapter includes three main systems, detection, extinguishing, and explosion suppression. The detection system senses and indicates the presence of overheat, smoke, and fire. The extinguishing system includes the fixed and portable units used to extinguish fire. The explosion suppression system senses, indicates, and extinguishes a flame propagation into the fuel vent to prevent an explosion in the fuel system. Chapter 27 Flight Controls The flight controls are the units which control the flight attitude characteristics of the aircraft. In this chapter, you can see how the controlled surfaces, spoilers, and drag devices are controlled and moved. The flight controls include the following ailerons, elevators, rudder, spoilers, flaps, and slats. The primary flight controls have a gas lock, which protects the control surfaces from movement by wind while the aircraft is on the ground. Chapter 28 Fuel this system stores and delivers fuel to the engine, includes pumps, tanks, and valves, but does not include the structure of integral or tip fuel tanks, fuel flow rate sensing, transmitting, and indicating. Do you remember which ATA chapter includes the fuel flow indications? It could be 73 or 80. What do you think? Let me know your opinion in the comments. This chapter is divided into two main systems, storage and distribution. The storage system stores the fuel and includes ventilating system, overwind filler necks and caps. And the distribution system distributes fuel from the filler connector to the storage system and from the storage system to the power plant. This chapter also includes a dump system, and this system dumps fuel overboard during flight. Dump fuel overboard during flight? Why would the pilot want to dump the fuel during flight? Do you have an idea? Let me know in the comments. Chapter 29 Hydraulic Power This chapter describes the units which provides hydraulic pressure to be used by the other systems. The hydraulic system is divided into two independent systems, the main and the auxiliary system. The auxiliary system has its own tank and pump and it takes the place of the main hydraulic system in case of failure. Chapter 30 Ice and Rain Protection This chapter describes the units which prevent or remove ice formation and rain. Some of the parts covered in this system are propeller, wings, Impellage, pilot tubes, windshields, antennas, radons, and air intake. Chapter 31 
indicating and recording system. This chapter includes instruments, instrument and control panels, and warning systems. The instruments can be part of a system, such as an altimeter, which is part of the pitot static system, or can be an independent instrument, such as a clock, which are not related to specific systems. The instrument and control panels include all panels, fixed or movable, and their components such as switches, circuit breakers, fuses, and other accessories. The warning systems give audible and visual warning of conditions in other systems and include the following flight warning, tone generators, and annunciators. Chapter 32. Landing Gear This chapter describes the units which support and steering the aircraft, on the ground or water, and this system also makes possible the landing gear to be retracted and stored while in flight. It includes brakes, wheels, floats, doors, shock struts, and tires. The brakes stop the aircraft while on the ground and stop wheel rotation after retraction. The steering system controls the direction of the aircraft movement on the ground. The extension and retraction part of the system controls the opening and closing of the landing gear doors, also controls the sequence to extend and retract the landing gear. Espero esta información sea de utilidad para ti. Muy pronto estaré compartiendo los siguientes capítulos. No olvides suscribirte a mi canal para seguir aprendiendo inglés técnico aeronáutico para mecánicos de aviación. Si te ha gustado este video, Comparte con tus amigos para que cada vez seamos más entusiastas unidos en este canal. Gracias por ver este video y nos escuchamos en el próximo.